Hi, this is Schlappe from CliffX Pro Tutorials. I want to present a pack of my user actions, especially to make new features of Ableton Live 12 available as actions for CliffX Pro. You can get them at isotonicstudios.com or if you become a Patreon. So let's have a quick run through what's inside the box. With the link action, you can turn on and off the link functionality of Ableton, as well as the start and stop synchronization. You know, have access to the brand new functionality of Ableton 12's live scale modes. You can turn it on and off. You can change the root nodes, either by numbers or by the name. And of course, you have access to the type of scale. Introduced in Ableton 12 is the access to the name of the Ableton set. So the action song name will send that name to an OSC address as well as storing it in a variable. Best of all, this is automatically done when you load a set. Flipping tracks back to the arrangement individually is also new to Ableton 12 and made accessible for CliffX Pro with the action TB2A, which means track back to arrangement. In this example, I'm triggering this from a touch OSC MIDI button. It also works for groups. Already introduced in the API in Ableton 12, but now also available for the CliffX realm is the access to clip grooves. You now can choose any groove out of the groove pool and apply it to a clip with select groove, either by the position in the groove pool or by name. You also have access to the values for quantize, timing, random and velocity. Concatenate is a basic function which lets you combine strings and variables and preserve the string property so you can use the resulting variable in a cliffx action just like a string. Made after a request on my Patreon, I programmed the select next to playing clip action. On any track, you might want to select the next clip slot to the currently playing clip. You now can do this with this track action, select next to clip. Select, select next to playing or an abbreviation, cell NTP. As an additional option, you can specify empty. In that case, it will select the next empty clip slot down from the playing clip. A limitation of CliffX is that you can't set variables inside a macro. With my first user action set var, you can do that. I'll show it here in the next clip, but it will just work in a macro. This is a confirmed and known bug. If you define a variable and calling a macro in the same action list, the macros will stop working. With the action set var macro, you can define a variable with the value and then calling a macro afterwards. Using snapshots in CliffX Pro is probably the most popular and most important feature, although the automatic renaming of the clip I found sometimes not practical. So I wrote the action snap UA. You basically can use it just like the original snap action, except that if you want to snap more than one track, you have to use the user action snap range UA. Besides that, it will work just like the original snap action. Lastly, a very handy wait action. You now can quantize any action list to be triggered on the next beat or bar. There's more good stuff in this pack. For example, my most favorite tool of all time for CliffX, the pop-up window with a button which you can map to a keystroke and have a sort of CliffX terminal window. The files for shift and X modes as well as all the files for OSC output to send data from Ableton to, for example, touch OSC. I made a longer complete walkthrough video and until then, stay happy, stay healthy and always stay in control. Peace.